today, the School of Public Policy released a paper co-authored by myself and Sarah Jordan of Harvard, and the paper is dealing with the ethics of the bioethanol fuel industry and its impact on land conversion and land quality. Gasoline demand continues to increase uh, dramatically every year in spite of improvements in fuel economy. And as a consequence, governments all around the world have been seeking to find alternatives to satisfy this demand and to move us away from gasoline as a fuel. Bioethanol has been one of those proposals and it has been of great interest to governments, especially over the last four to five years uh, in terms of policy and in terms of direct land conversion. We're concerned that the interest in bioethanol and biofuels has caused a lot of land that would be otherwise used for productive food use has been taken out and is providing in perverse incentives for the fuel that may not be as efficient or may not be as appropriate as gasoline is in the long term. So it may not prove to be the alternative people want and it may prove very destructive for the overall fuel and food ratio that we have in terms of land use. Our paper asks four significant questions all based around the conversion of land use potential and the first concerns the idea that diversion of land for fuel production takes land out of food production and adversely affects poorer nations. For example, in the last four years we've seen an emphasis on bioethanol that is based on corn production and the use of excess corn or the use of primary corn crops for fuel production has made the cost of things like tortillas in Mexico double in price. Our second question concerns the fuel density or the energy return from devoting these crops to energy production as opposed to fuel production. And as a matter of fact, most of the bioethanol that we considered in the study represents a far less fuel density than that of gasoline. And as a consequence, you need to produce more of it to get the same capability of fuel or fuel density as gasoline. So we're asking also the question of whether or not uh, using biofuels will have a positive impact on the trend toward global warming. And we find that many of the conclusions that are drawn about biofuels suggest that it will perversely go the other way, that in fact it creates more of an air quality impact than it solves by switching to an alternative fuel. We finally ask what are some of the other broad economic impacts from switching to biofuels and we find that this is a significant diversion of capital which may not be productive for society and it certainly has a broad economic impact on the existing farm communities that has not been accounted for and we want to make sure that at the very least some of these ethical decisions are taken into account by policy makers and regulators. We hope that policy makers and regulators will take a more long-term and expansive view of some of these impacts and include them in their deliberations and make sure that they more fully account for some of the land use, economic, and social impacts of just expanding the fuel supply uh, without thinking about where it's sourced and what its ultimate use is. I'm Professor Michael C. Moore, and this is the School of Public Policy at the University of Calgary.